Davis in the house. June 26, pay-per-view, back at it, fired up, Atlanta. Tank, how you feeling? I feel great, you know, just um, getting in the atmosphere and stuff like that, so I'm, fe I'm feeling very amazing. Well, Tank, you had a great 2020 in the fact that you, you got to the pay-per-view main level, you blew away Leo Santa Cruz in a big deal, big fight, and an even bigger knockout. How important was that fight to take your star to the next level? Uh, it was very, very important, you know, just every time I go out there is, is, is to put on a great show. That's what, you know, that's what um, I've been wanting to do so I could be the, you know, top of the number. So, you know, everybody, they, they love knockouts and stuff like that. So not, not really looking for the knockout, but just putting on a great performance. You know, that's my whole uh, goal every time I go out there. So it could be, so they can come back and keep watching. Like they like excited fighters. People like excited fighters and things like that. So I know that's that's what people like. So that's what I want to become. Tank, what does that feel like when you deliver, you know, a knockout of the year type punch? That uppercut you hit Leo with. I mean, you sent him to the to the basement floor of hell. No disrespect. We love Leo. Great guy. What does that feel like? Did you know you get him? When you touch him, do you know it's over? Uh, um, when I caught him, when I caught him, I, I, I didn't know, I know I caught him good, but when he fell to the ground, uh, I was celebrating, but actually when I turned back around, he was still on the ground and they were still like trying to help him get up. So I then got into like, I started getting concerned for him, you know? So we all know this, this is a job and he still, he, he have kids he had to go back to. So, uh, it was mainly like making sure he was okay. Had you ever delivered a knockout punch that good in your life, whether it's a sparring match, whether it's a schoolyard? Is that the best shot of your entire life? No, I, I had some pretty not pretty knockouts in the gym. Okay, okay. That that's that's the doghouse style where we don't talk about those, right? Because yeah, we're on the outside. Talking. Yeah, all right, I got that. All right, take you're moving up two weight classes to fight Mario Barros Barrios for his secondary title June 26th. Uh look, this is that's the storyline. He's taller, he's a he's a bigger fighter. You've never appeared at this weight class before. Is that your decision to take on this challenge? And if it was, what was the, the mindset behind that? Yes, it definitely was my decision. We are uh, there to be great, you know, so uh, that's why I'm taking this big, big step. You know, it wasn't really too many, uh, too many opportunities at that time at 130 or 135, you know, so, um, you know, I think that we have, the, I have the best team in boxing and, you know, I came to them and let them know that I wanted to move up to 40, you know, so I could, you know, be great. You know, sometimes you, you got to push yourself to, you know, uh, see how good you are. You know, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, uh, is this a full time move? Do you intend to compete at any of the three weight divisions if you win? What's what's the the future going to bring after this move? Uh, like I said, I had the best team in boxing, uh, and whatever the best is sitting out there for me and for my team, then we win it. You know, we win it 100. percent You know, I feel as though you know um, my team been carrying me this uh, far. You know. I, I didn't just get here, so we've been doing a great job with my career. You know, um, I've been, you know, uh, doing a great job listening to my team, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Well, Tank, you're in Atlanta today for the press conference for the fight. I know you did some, uh, you know, commercials, media shoots with Mario Barrios. When you got a chance to feel his aura, look into his eyes, look up at him, what'd you, what'd you get back from that from that situation? Uh, just, um... Not really, I didn't get nothing from it. Just, uh, uh, I've I done it before, you know, just not as a, at a uh, 140, but it's like, I've done, I done this before, you know, so I'm really, I'm, I'm not into like uh, saying what, you know, what, how, how main he look or anything like that. It just, it's a job for me. I'm coming here to do my job and my job is, you know, do whatever my team want me to do. Uh, look, there's big news, Tank. You're a pay-per-view star for Showtime. Big news is that Jake Paul just got signed this week. We know his brother Logan is going to fight someone you're very close with, Floyd Mayweather, next month in June. Are you okay with the idea that the Paul brothers 
and YouTube sensations are coming into your sport and, you know, be honest, kind of competing with you for those pay-per-view numbers. Are, are you welcoming those guys in or is it competition to you? I mean, I, I think I was always best of, you know, minding my own business, you know, so that's what I've been doing. And, uh, um, you know, all uh, cahoots to them, you know, uh, wish them the best, but my main focus is uh, my uh, Tank, when when Logan Paul goes in there with with Big Bro Floyd, uh, wh what is that fight gonna look like? I have no idea. That's why I want to know what the heck's that fight gonna look like. Uh, we know we know Floyd is a he he's a he's a masterpiece when it comes to boxing. So we just look for a, a great fight. You know, I'll, I'll be watching. I'll be you know looking at because he's fighting a taller fighter. So I definitely be learning that night. You know, so. Um, I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to him fighting again. Uh, I'm happy that he's back in the ring. He's, he's healthy and uh, ready to fight. All right. So, Tick, you're you're still very young. I mean, are you 26 right now? Is that correct? Yes. Uh, you're in that group of guys like Teofimo and Ryan Garcia and all the, you know, Devin Haney, they say the guys that have next. You're a little ahead of them because you're already headlining pay-per-views. But do you feel like you're in competition with them when you see – how much they're getting paid or how many buys they're bringing in. Do you feel like before you can even fight them one day, you're already competing in the same lane against them? Uh, I don't see that. That's why, that's why, um, that's why it's really like, I feel as though like, I'm not, in, I'm not competing with nobody. Nobody is, it's nobody. I, I'm at the, you see, I'm saying I'm by right here by myself. It's nobody I'm looking at. If I, start to look at them and I forget about myself, you know? So my main focus is, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And that's one in and stand focused and, you know, uh, celebrate with my team after the one and, and we right back in the gym, you know, we're making the best decision for myself and my team and our career as us, you know, as me being a fighter and them, you know, coaching me and things like that. Tank, how high, how high do you believe your power can carry up in weight? Because sometimes fighters level off when they, when they reach for greatness. Uh, I mean, could you be a welterweight one day? What do you sort of see in terms of how, how much you can punch against these higher ranked opponents in terms of weight? Um, I, I really can't tell you until, until I see, you know, um, come June the 26th. So uh, I'm definitely, you know, training each and every day to be the, you know, um, compete at 140 uh, come June 26. So we just got to wait and see. Uh, everyone's got sort of when they're rising as a boxing star, they're, they're focused on who's in front of them, but they got that one name at the end of the line. That's like, that's the guy I'm going to make my millions against. That's the guy I'm going to make my legacy against. Right. I mean, Floyd had a bunch of those guys turned out, Manny was the biggest one. Do you feel like there's, there's one guy for you right now that's, that's maybe a little bit down the road that, that, that you're looking at. Uh, it just it's, it's whoever lasts lasts at the end, you know. Uh, whoever become the, the whoever can become the next, you know, uh, pay per view star. So we already know I, I I became that, you know. So we just wait and see if somebody else uh, can become that, and we have you know a dance partner. Uh, take, I got to give you credit as a draw, meaning when you are headlining a fight, the arenas get packed, the celebrities come out. Um, Atlanta is where you're coming back to. We've seen you there in the past. What is the connection right now between you and the fans where it, it's an attraction every time you show up and not every other fighter can say that? I mean, you know, what, what, what do you think is that, that thing that they see in you and they're like, I got to be there? Uh, just, uh, I'm a sighted fighter, you know, inside that ring, they know they come and see a great fight, you know, every time, you know, it's, it's never a dull moment when I'm just chilling, you know, I'm always looking to, to hurt uh, my opponent, so just like when, you know, when Floyd was fighting, when Mike Tyson was fighting, and it, it was people, I'm not saying I'm on that level, but I'm saying like, boy, it's, it was always excitement when they was fighting, no matter who they was fighting. It could be anybody, you know, we know that it's going to be an action-packed fight.
do you get starstruck anymore if a famous person sits front row at your fight or you get a message on your phone? Is there anyone that you're sort of like, oh, crap, I'm still a kid from Baltimore here. These are my idols. Who who makes you feel that way when they reach out to you? Uh, not uh, not really when I see, see it just uh, – um, probably the last person I probably thought that was when, when I first signed to Floyd and uh, I was just chilling and then he called me and I just I just looked at the phone for a little minute I was like damn I really had Floyd calling my phone like and and I was like but the crazy thing but I wound up not even answering because I was just looking like damn like this Floyd called me I wind up calling him back, but I was just so like, like, yeah. and I ain't even make it yet. I'm just, and I was thinking like, damn, I made it. That, but that's that's, how I, that's a moment that is right there. Yeah. Uh, take, you know, Floyd's a great example to compare to because he was a guy as a pay-per-view star who had people that loved him, people that hated him, and he didn't care. He just wanted you to buy the fight, right? And, you know, you've had maybe a few missteps outside the ring, and maybe there's, you know, people that look at you as a villain, some people look at you as a hero. Do you care at all how you are perceived by the public? Um, I want to say yes and somewhat because I don't, want to, I, don't, I don't want people to think that I am a, like a monster or something, like something I'm not. You know, but for us, like, we all have haters. And they said, if you don't have haters, you ain't doing something right. You know, so uh, Floyd always told me if, 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 if they talk about you bad or good, it doesn't matter. They're talking about you. So that's what we, that's what we, that's what I always, you know, I got from Floyd and understood it. So either way, they're going to watch the fight. So. So you know, uh, Gervonta, I always wanted to ask you this and, and, and to wrap it up here. I was a big fan of the show, The Wire, and you're a Baltimore guy. I mean, your trainer yeah. is based on a, char- a character, you know, in real life it, that, that yeah. is in there, your, your trainer, Calvin Ford. What is your opinion of that show? Is it Was it accurate to sort of, you know, some of the things you remember growing up? Uh, it definitely, it was definitely accurate, but um, it was, it was, it was rough, you know, but you know, uh, we made our way out of it and things like that. We're on a positive roll and, you know, we, we're trying to get back to the people that's coming after me. You know, it, it's not just me, you know, it's, it's fighters that's coming after me and just trying to pay the way and be the, you know, um, be in, still being on reach so we can be able to help guys that's coming after us, you know, so um, it definitely was, you know, rough, but we don't want to give that side. We, we want to give the the yeah. bright, show the bright. good side please show the good side yeah, there it is take good davis side. can't wait to see you back june 26 showtime yeah. pay-per-view in atlanta against mario barrios great chatting with you best of luck back on the big stage once more